Hey, what is going on guys? So you have a Samsung Galaxy S20, S20 Plus, or the S20 Ultra. I'm gonna show you how to use the split screen multitasking feature. Basically where you can do two things at once, okay? You can be watching a video on YouTube, and on the other screen you can be browsing the internet, checking the news, you can be on your Facebook app, you can be on email, replying to emails and whatnot, okay? So very, very simple to do. So first thing you gotta do is go ahead and open up an app that you want as one of your split screen views, okay? So for instance, I wanna have YouTube on there. So just open up YouTube and now go ahead and close it. Now if you go to the recent menu, top left hand, bottom left hand side here, tap on that and now we can see my YouTube is up here. It doesn't matter with the recent menus, any one of these, I just simply, if I wanted the browser, I just tap on the browser and I go to open and split screen view. Okay, however, I'm gonna go ahead and open up YouTube first. So I'm gonna tap on that. And I'm gonna tap on open and split screen view. And now this YouTube video is gonna be up here. Now I gotta pick another app that I want to use as well. So I can go ahead and click one, I can click the browser here, my recent uh, menu, I can click on my gallery, or I can simply just close all. And then I can go ahead and choose another app that I wanna open. So for instance, let's just say I wanna open up gallery here. I wanna see some photos as I'm watching a YouTube video. And you can also rotate it as well. So I can play this video here. This last video and I can go ahead and look at my photos and my photos gallery here. Another thing to note too is you can see if I click over here, the blue line moves to the right. If I click over here, it moves to the left. Now the thing is because it's to the left here, now I can use these buttons here where if I type anything, I know it's going to go to this window. Another thing too is, let me go ahead and tap on here and let's say, let's get out of the um, gallery here and let's go to another app. Okay, so I want to keep YouTube on here. So if we click the back button here, click it again, and now if I click it again, it's auto automatically going to close. Now let's go ahead and open up a another app here. Let's just say, uh, let's go ahead and open up messages here. So we have messages right here, and then we can go ahead and go ahead and type. You can type whatever you want, just like that. Because remember, because I know that this blue line is on the right hand side so if i type it's going to go to this side if i tap on here okay and now if i go ahead and just go ahead and press down now i can go ahead and do a search up here and it's going to pertain to this window over here now another thing too is what i can do is i can go ahead and i can change the size of this window as well so if i want a bigger uh, screen for the uh, youtube I can do that as well. So let me just go ahead and click another video here. So I get this video up here, like playing, and then I can go ahead and move this, oops, I can go ahead and move this down. Oops, let me go ahead and, let's just push that on, press that on pause. But now I got this window here, I can make the YouTube larger, or I can go down here and I can make my uh, SMS text message bigger as well. And now if I only wanted the YouTube app, open I want to get rid of the split screen what I can do is because I know YouTube is on top I can just slide this all the way down till it goes away or if I wanted the text messenger I can just slide all the way up so for instance I want to keep YouTube on but I want to turn off the split screen I can just slide it all the way down and now I'm just in the YouTube by itself so pretty simple any questions issues just comment below right see you guys in the next one